You know it's terrifying when the idea of real estate companies sucking up a bunch of mom and pop shops to turn them into condominiums that people can't afford so they have to rent them out for lower people because the wage equality is so awful is the scariest thing about your episode because it's actually reality. That's probably the most relevant thing Supernatural ever did. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for episode 16 of Supernatural Season 7, Out With The Old. Now this episode is absolutely 100% very clearly shot in Fort Langley. This is the second time they have very clearly shot here, with the first episode being the one with the Buffy alumni actors using the town hall. This one, they shoot it right on the, uh, the port and then they also go right down into the downtown area where there's coffee shops and stores and whatnot. Funny enough, the whole idea of the Leviathan lady buying all these buildings and whatnot to real estate all part of Dick Roman's big corporate take over the world plan isn't very different to that of what actually happened to Fort Langley. A lot of those businesses that you see in that video are all different. All the buildings are pretty much the same. There was a little bit of reconstruction in the area where they were taking down buildings that were just beyond repair. It definitely has improved quite a bit. But actually, let's talk about the episode itself. It's not bad, actually. This is actually one of the few episodes where I enjoy most of it, but at the same time, I am still at the stupidity of some of the writing. Just after having given us whiplash for revealing that Sam is full on seeing Lucifer now, and Mark Pellerino giving a pretty funny, chilling uh, performance, he's not in this episode, but he's apparently there. Apparently he's singing Stairway to Heaven 50 times in a row. And Sam can't sleep, so he's driving around in this dingy little truck that's got this u-haul thing attached to the back and he keeps on almost crashing and why would you bother doing such a 180 on his progression his ability to handle lucifer to then remove him entirely from the next episode not to say that there isn't actually good meat in this episode funnily enough considering it's about leviathans but his absence is so jarring considering what he did and what he established in the last episode as this manifestation of Lucifer's. And this episode actually does take you for a ringer because they start off just like all the other ones with having Dick on Dick, and then the boys are having to chase down these hidden haunted artifacts that apparently are killing people. Their origins is not exactly well known, just that this guy's mom or grandma was like a keeper of a cult thing. Then halfway through the episode turns into a Leviathan one where you find out that the realtor lady in the town is a Leviathan and her pipsqueak little lecher guy is absolutely hating being her lack to the point where he actually helps kill her and because he wants to eat her. He also reveals the plan that apparently Dick Roman wants to cure cancer. A lot of things are being kind of like thrown out in this episode, but the pacing, the humor, the worry that's going on with Sam is still done pretty well for the most part. But then unfortunately there's quite an unceremonious end for Jack Sparrow's first mate because they go to his trailer at the end of the episode with Bad Moon Rising and they see that he clearly got fucked up in there and he's dead. I really feels like this episode wanted to be two different things. Like, no, it's not a Leviathan one, but it is a Leviathan episode, but it's not a Leviathan episode, but it's about Sam's issue with seeing Lucifer, but he's not actually seeing Lucifer because we can't afford to get Mark back for this episode. But actually, this is really what's happening. And even with that amount of, ah, I still was entertained and I actually was quite glued to it. It still has narrative issues, it still has choice problems, but it's still a decently entertaining episode despite its many fallacies. So in the end, I'm gonna give this episode a four out of seven. You know, is it four like the fucking average been for this season? I don't know. This is literally like rewatching the newer seasons. I am very curious at how I'm going to feel going into eight and nine and ten. I'm wondering if I'm going to be as cynical. I'm, I'm getting that angry Jeremy who didn't like Supernatural <laughs> vibes again. But those are my thoughts. Let's see what you guys have to say. Out of the Old is a fun hybrid of Rabbit's Foot episode that ties really well with the Leviathan plotline while Sam is plagued by its trauma. 
I love the uniqueness of each cursed object and how it affects the community. The Leviathans are once more flexing their intelligence buying up real estate properties. The twist revealed that the coordinates of the Wisconsin are for Leviathans to find a cure for cancer is still surprising in a, to, in a good way. Watching Sam increasingly get worse of his trauma is saddening and a real relatability to it. I will say I may be one of the few who likes Frank's death for a few reasons. One is that we don't see a body, which can mean Frank gave up and purposely vanished with everyone from everyone and everything. And two, because once more the Winchesters are losing their resources to, def to the defeat, Leviathan's making it near impossible. I'll give you credit on the second one, the second idea of Frank's death. I still think it's just, I don't know. I, it just feels like such a, a, a very short pull out. Like, like there's no build up to it whatsoever. Uh, out with the old is an okay episode. My only wish was that Lucifer would return and bug Sam into messing up on the hunt or at least questioning his surroundings. I do enjoy the Leviathan side plot hole and how the boys are able to work together with one of, with one of them to take uh, down another. The idea that Sam has been trying to stay awake and with coffee is sad, but it means to end, to an end and does continue for the next episode for the whole problem to solve. Honestly, I couldn't have gone with one more episode with seeing Sam seeing Lucifer and Dean trying not to lose his mind and help keep Sam through the hallucinations. I feel really bad for Sam this season. On a side note, Sam's arc is the only thing that kept me going through season 7. Yeah, no, it, it's definitely one of the few things you can latch on to. Out with the old, I'm not going to pretend this is a good episode or I like it. The episode showcases the biggest problem of the season, that is the Leviathans. They're supposed to be these perfect monsters, and yet they're not threatening in the slightest, and they're treated more like a sitcom antagonist rather than a legit villain. And let's not mention the cheesy dialogue. I try to compare them to the poor, other poorly received villains that we've seen, if they are better. However, I couldn't find any positive quality to them. Even Michael or the British Men in Letters, they were weak villains, but at least the show tried to make them menacing. I don't understand the direction that Sarah Gamble took with the Leviathans, but it certainly made them the worst villains in the show. Yeah. Yeah, they're not great. I think it's because they're just so unfocused and just how boring they actually are. Like, all they do is they eat people. Like, I don't know. I feel like it would have been more interesting to see them really kind of build into the politics idea. Like, I like how they're kind of touching on it with the real estate thing, but... It's just so obvious, especially considering now. Like, when you look at it now, it's so obvious. I don't know. That's, those are just my thoughts. All right, guys. Thank you for those comments. The next episode is the Born Again Identity. I imagine this is going to have Lucifer back again. Maybe they could afford Mark for this episode. We'll see. Give me your guys' thoughts about that episode in the comments below, and I'll read those off in the next review. Until then, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying the reviews. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys next time.